Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss the topic limit point compactness. Initially first we see the definition of the uh, limit point compact. So a space x is said to be limit point compact if every infinite subset of x has a limit point. This is the definition. This definition reveals that every infinite subset of x has a limit point then the corresponding space x is said to be limit point compact. Now we are going to derive the uh, theorem. The compactness imply limit point compactness but the limit point compactness is does not imply compactness that is the converse part. The converse part of the theorem can be proved by giving the counter example. Now let us prove the first part of the theorem. For that we take a compact space x and n Consider a subset A of x. Now our claim is if A is infinite then A, A has limit points. Suppose now we prove the theorem by the contrapositive approach. If A has no limit point then A must be finite. That is the idea we are going to prove it now. For that suppose Suppose A has no limit point, then it contains all its limit points. Uh, since A contains all its limit points, the A must be closed. We know that if a set contains all its limit points, then it must be closed. By that uh, definition, we have uh, given that A is closed. Now, you know, also we know the result. Every closed subset of a compact space is compact. Since a is a close to subset of a, a is a close to subset of x, then a must be compact. So next we take a point a belong to a, and we form the neighborhood with the help of the set a. The neighborhood we call it as u a. Uh, this neighborhood u a does not intersect the complement of the set a minus uh, the element is small a. Now. The element a does not. The element a is not the limit point. Therefore, the set a is covered by the open sets of the form u a. Now, <coughs> but the set a is compact. Just now we have proved. So, by the definition of compactness, every uh, <coughs> a must be covered by a finitely many open sets of the form u a. So, let the uh, number of sets covered by uh, covered covers a b n u 1 u 2 u 3 etc u a n. So, now here uh, each open subset u a contains the at least uh, only only one point of a. So, therefore, uh, we are having uh, n number of open sets u a u of the type u a. Therefore, a must contain n points. So, this shows that a is finite. Now, uh, we have proved that if uh, a has no limit point, then a is finite. Uh, equivalently, say that if a has <coughs> limit point, then a must be infinite. Uh, hence, we prove the first part of the theorem. Now let us prove the second part by the by giving the counter example. That is, we are we have to show that limit point compactness does not imply compactness. Now uh, we give an example. Let us take let us take two element two elements in this uh, consisting. Let us take a set Y consisting consisting of two elements Y one and I two Y two, and let the topology on Y consist of the empty set and the full set y. Now uh, from the product topology x is equal to n cross y where n is the set of all integers it forms a discrete topology and also consider a subset a of uh, capital X and uh, assume that the that a is non-empty. Now if uh, therefore a has elements of the form here a has elements of the form small n comma y i where small n belongs to the set capital N and yi belongs to the set uh, capital Y. 
now every non empty subset a we have framed the subset of the type a which is a subset of x which is non empty it has a limit point so therefore if uh, since a is a, a since the set a has a limit point then uh, a must be a limit point compact space now here <coughs> but the space on the x equal to n cross y is not on the compact we give the reason for it now uh, because uh, by the compactness definition uh, of uh, every uh, every covering of x must have a finite sub covering here the sub covering of x will be of the form open sets form un the set of all elements of the form uh, n cross y for small n belong to n so this sub collection uh, uh, this x has no sub collection which covers uh, x so this this imply x is not compact so now we have proved that however x is not compact it is a limit point compact the theorem we have proved it now see here so thank you